Why are we still living under a state of emergency? I, I keep trying to figure it out. I've been thinking about it for a long time. Eh? Why are we still living under a state of emergency? The authorities have failed to identify any emergency for us. No clear justification. There was a talk of clear and present danger. It seems to me that the people in office are the danger. They are the threat to us, if you ask me. You know, the danger is unclear and it seems that it is absent outside of what has been imposed on us. A state of emergency can be used to fight crime. Come on. The economy taking a lash, a lot of people suffering, a lot of families breaking up, a lot of businesses closing. And I'm not talking, I'm not speculating, I'm talking about things that I know are happening in our country. Come on. Stop the state of emergency. Stop the state of emergency while you still can and while you could still give yourself a chance. Try and, try and save some kind of face. Madam Prime Minister, Mr. AG, Mr. Commissioner of Police, Mr. Minister of National Security, you have failed the public. You have failed us all. And you know what is abundantly clear to me now? I'm stuck. If a general election is called, who do we vote for? There was public um, consensus of opinion that the PNM wasn't serving us in a, in a significant way, which is why there was an overwhelming response at the polls for change. Now, this is what we get. This is what we get. Harassment and imprisonment. This is what we get. This is not the change we wanted. What is happening to our economy? This is not the change we wanted. So where do we turn? Who? Who is going to help us? Where is this going to help? Where is this help going to come from? Where do we turn? But a good first step is to stop the state of emergency now. Please. The brother, the love. The brother, the love. This is